Predators. Predators. Wow. So you're running out of time. And I don't know. What do you do? Do you rush to try to fix things or you just give up? I'm Dan. I'm Nick, folks. Thanks for joining us tonight. I uh I don't know. I feel like you get to the middle you get to the middle of things. Middle age. And you're kinda like, uh, okay. Like this is a, I guess this is a life. So like most people probably, I think, like I'm content. I don't know that most people are though. I feel like most people, they get into stuff and then they decide they don't want to anymore. They just kind of never do it. And they just kind of relinquish themselves to nothingness. So what's the get into? Career? Yeah, I guess career, going to college, taking some classes, get a good job maybe like excelling at a job or like maybe it's even just like as pure as like passion like people like about say this? like do starting a passion. family yeah all that shit is are you passionate about your family can you I think I guess that I guess technically I am I know that sounds stupid and I hate sounds generic yeah 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 but I love my family like you say that it sounds like yeah that's you see that in that's what you're supposed to do yeah but also I mean what if you didn't love your family where do you put that? Are you allowed to say I hate my? <clears throat> are you allowed to say I don't really like the family thing, but I started it, so I have to finish it? You're not allowed to say think that. Think about it. You're not allowed to say that, no, but like not. think about it. That's a thing, right? Yeah, but you could be Unless really happy, everyone... and you could be undermining your own happiness by just like being like, uh... I can't really believe that I'm happy, and I think a lot of people do that. So what do they do? They undermine their own happiness. Why the hell would they do that? I don't know. I, f- I find that like some people mm-hmm. are just like not either they're not motivated or they like can't be happy. Like it can't just be like the happiness has to be short lived. Whatever they have, they can't just be like I'm content for a month or a year. Like I'll do this, I'll do this casually for half a decade and get through it. <laughs> <laughs> but but then like what is that like? It you're saying people who are unhappy. Or not letting themselves be happy. I'm just trying to figure it out. To make it more concrete, is like finishing college. Mm-hmm. Like there's an abstract feeling of like this is what I'm supposed to do, or somebody told me to do it, or like somebody told me to do it. I genuinely find that this is like somewhat interesting. Or you don't. You genuinely okay. you don't have anything else that you're like passionate about that pulls you away. I remember this guy freshman year that was. Uh, he said he like he didn't know what he was going to do like he like he started college like this is like the first week and he was like I don't know mm-hmm. what I'm doing and he said like towards the end of that first semester that he was just like I just want to be a chef and I was like okay like that sounds good <laughs> and like he just left like he didn't like he he knew he started something that he was not going to finish and I don't know how you get to that point where you just like okay I'm going to just throw myself in here and hope it works wasn't that life a little bit? I mean, yeah, you have to you have to try new things to know. I'm I'm what I'm not disagree, I'm not disagreeing with you. What I'm saying is, you try a new thing. You don't know if it's gonna work. How long do you wait it out? And then at what point are you like, I'm not gonna wait it out. So what's the fine line between undermining yourself when you probably could have made it, and damn, you were on the wrong path for three years and you didn't stop. Yeah. What's the dividing line between those two things? Like you, you didn't stop. You have to follow your passion until you <laughs> suck at it, and then you have to stop <laughs> immediately. Is that what it is? I was really great at doing cocaine every night, but then I realized it was ruining my life. And it's like, yeah, it was. You're the How best did you not see that one? Ever. <laughs> oh, you were the best cokehead. You were so good. Um, but it came to an end, and it's like, yeah, it was going to come to an end. It's, I'm pretty sure everyone knew that. End of a chapter, and then it's just like old age, shut in a book, right next to a fire. <sighs> yep. Opens a new book. So how do you know when you're wasting your time and when you're not putting in your time? What's the difference? I don't, I, I honestly, at this point, like there are certain things that I do that, like they're not necessarily soul sucking. I just feel like they sh- like should be, but when I get into it, I just like lose time. I think the things that allow you to lose time are the things you're passionate about. 
Like if you if you focus enough on something that you lose track of other things, like that's probably a good thing to do. Like even if you don't feel happy doing them, like no, this totally it, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if your if your body slash mind slash whatever is capable of doing a job very well, you probably do lose track of doing it. Like you're just naturally doing it. It's a natural movement. It's a zen. Yeah. And yes, a little bit of zen. And that is probably the best state to be in when you're doing work. Which is funny, I feel the opposite way when I do my job. That's precisely how my old job went, is that towards the end of it, I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? Like, why the hell? I don't, like, even trying to start something, I just get frustrated. I just get angry and be like, I gotta go for a walk. Like, I can't start, I can't do this. Like, Hmm. that constantly would come into my brain. And that, that piece, maybe it, like, maybe that's right. Like, maybe I shouldn't have been doing that job. Or maybe you need to, like, redirect your energies into something else that will, like, actually build yourself into something better. That's an that's... interesting way to put it. I think that's, that's actually a good, that's a good way to look at it. So, naturally, you should be able to tell whether it's something right or not from just your natural instinct. Instinct is a way to go. The only thing there is the catch is that you have to know that certain pieces of you don't want to do work at all. So you have to, like, feel sure. out what's the procrastinator and what's the lazy part of you. And what's above and beyond that, like, normal level of, like, oh, I don't want to do that. Because sometimes... How do you do that? Sometimes you zone out and you just do it, and then you're... Once you're doing it, you realize that this is okay. Mm-hmm. And other times you realize that this genuinely sucks balls, and you have to back <laughs> I've been off. doing it for days in a row, <laughs> yeah. and months in a row. I think you also know, like, when I started a new job, and the new job wasn't that great, it only took me two days to be like, this doesn't make sense. But... I already committed to it and I wasn't going to like back out of it even though I could. Sure. You wanted to put your time into it. Yeah. I, I basically said like this is a new experience and I need to learn from the experience and going back to my old experiences at my old job like I already knew the range of emotions that that would have brought me and like I needed something new. So I feel like a lot of people especially the people that have like career jobs lifelong jobs like they're left in the bubble well, like a welder. Yeah. If you're a welder, what else are you doing? Friggin' you're welding. Are yeah. you like, oh, I also do computer science. No, dude, you weld. We get it. You have memes. I've seen welder memes. I'm not even going to bring them up here, but I've seen welder memes. Okay? Anyway. Yeah. You're, um, you're in your box. But, like, you're in a bubble. This yeah. is your thing, dude. You do welding. Maybe do some, like, offshoot welding. Maybe do this kind of welding. <laughs> like, it's not just welding. I do this kind of welding. But... How how would you describe this undermine thing? Like, how do you do that? So do you give up on yourself a little bit? Yeah, there's, like, so many different projects that I started and failed at that I don't, like, you can regret spending a lot of time on something that doesn't, it's not fruitful. So mm-hmm. the way you shape your mind to see, like, what is, what, what is value, like, there's an end result of, like, maybe you have a goal of making X amount of dollars doing this one thing, but you never make a penny. You actually spent money doing it lost money (laughs) and Mm -hmm. then spent so many hours so you lost time and you feel like maybe you cheated yourself Mm. yeah Mm. you're regretting cost i believe it and you keep you mean maybe you keep doing it or maybe at the end of it you realize that like why did i do that do you learn from it like you kind of do I think Let's you, say you did something stupid for three years and you hated it and you were done with it and you'll never do it again. Like that's a pretty good lesson. Yeah. You learned a damn good lesson. You will never do X again, even if it pays double. You're just like, nope, I'm done. Do you think certain people? So like the most common thing is that some people take a minimum wage job and they stay there like indefinitely. They'll get like quarter, literal quarter. Quarter, raises yeah quarter yeah, dollar yeah, yeah. an hour raises. 25 cents and they'll be like okay now this is like i'm progressing it's like no no you're not making, like making inflation. waves baby inflation is like 50 cents you've just gotten a quarter <laughs> you're literally regressing but this comes from like i i think i think some people can't and that's a whole nother episode but yeah. you're talking about the people who have the ability to have exactly. a learning have everything and they undermine themselves they decide not to do x y or z they choose to either regress or not fulfill something 
and you're telling me that like it's just if you endure a little bit of this, you'll succeed. How do you know that path? That's the only thing because I'm kind of there. So you want you want sage advice from me? Sure, I would love some sage yes. friggin' advice. I'll give you some sage, baby. Is this what you're waiting for this whole episode? You wanted to give me sage advice? This is what the entire what podcast is about, advice. Nick. Sage advice from Dan. I feel like you make one step towards something that you're like genuinely like, oh, okay, let me try this thing out. Like It doesn't make mm-hmm. any sense at all. There's no reason why I should do this. But I'm just going to mm-hmm. do this one thing and see what happens. And sometimes Absolutely. that like you you make one step forward and you you can look left or right and you start seeing different pathways. And some of those things are necessary. And I feel like we have a mutual friend that had a lot of possibility and he just wasted his time getting into drugs and wasted it. Like, he shouldn't have smoked so much pot or taken so many pills. And you just look at the guy and, like, this guy's genuinely, like, I wouldn't say he's a genius. He might be a genius. I don't know. He used to be a genius when I was, well, yeah, when I was in high school. Yeah, I thought he was, like, mm-hmm. definitely on par. And... You wonder, like, how how are you resigned to be, like, just like an like a an IT support guy, and I I understand like yes, there's comfort in that, but there's so much more, and people don't see the like the more part of it. I don't know. I feel like if you if you miss the boat, you feel like I you're think... behind the boat and you can't swim to the boat. So then you don't want to yeah. right. You don't want to put the effort in because you're behind the boat already. Yeah. And you're behind everyone else. There's also a, like an idea of like, if you're the like the wonderkind or like the prodigy, like you're, you have to do it in a certain age range so that people see you as that, because you can't be a forty year old prodigy. Like you no, can, you can, no but you can't thing, be like an up and coming prodigy really. at forty. Ah, I'm trying my hand here at a new profession. <laughs> I I agree with you 100. percent And all these things strike true, but I also just say at the end of the day. <laughs> rhyme I mean a little bit of it It doesn't matter aimlessness that, well it doesn't matter I don't know you, so there's the financial thing it does like you sure. go for money like sure Matters. like you could mm-hmm. go for money and then do everything you want to do after that if you don't die trying or fail and then keep working until you die uh, or die of a disease. Who knows? It's true. You don't know what you got. Your cards are all different. Um, I forget where I was going. You're probably going to die. So you should just do what you want to do. Well, this, this is the Jim Carrey story. So then, hold on. So then you do what you want to do. So then what if it's not... Probably. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Buy yourself as much time as you can. This is like A, startups. Like startups that don't spend any, like a dime. And they surf, mm-hmm. like couch surf. It's like... They have so much time to actually figure out what they want to do and then focus. It's like you can actually like change your focus multiple times because you don't put any money to it. Also, hmm. Jim Carrey, I think his father was like an accountant, and he didn't want to be an accountant, but he worked for like 20 years, and he figured that like this is the path that I'm gonna take to like fulfill like my family's needs. Sure. But he said like you can still fail as an accountant because his his dad was fired from his job in his like forties or fifties and he saw him like a he wasn't happy and still he failed. So like even if you pick a right, path it was like safe, he picked a terrible thing. It was yeah. like, Well, I'll do this for the damn family. I friggin' hate this job. Also, I got fired. Yes. So, so nothing's safe. So you might as well take risks, you might as well do what you love, you might as well try everything. Try and fulfill something. You might as well try and succeed. I don't know. Is that what you're trying to say to me? Yeah. Get off your ass and try something. Even if it makes no sense. Even if it seems worthless. Even if it's, like, not motivated by anything at all, other than just Hmm. you. Like, no outside forces. You're just like, I wonder what it looks like when I photograph lightning. Like, you learn something from just, like, trying to do that. It's very weird. the most... It's the most exact thing you've ever done. Have you tried to photograph lightning? I have not tried to do this. I tried to film uh, thunderstorms, which is difficult. I do actually do this. On the roof? No, I have have it out the window. I do have a little GoPro camera. Maybe put it on your roof, dude. Less obstruction. It is difficult to photograph 
lightning, and I didn't know that going in. But now I'm like, it is. oh, strange. Kind of cool. It is a weird type of thing that like technology is. This is a side tangent. Sorry, it's like technology know, goes no, so listen, far, and this then it. Is what's so funny with me? Learn. What if that's your calling? To fo- be the best lightning photographer, It'd be like I don't know. People see pictures of lightning. There's like, is that all, a, is that a Dan? Like, <laughs> <laughs> all your all your know how and your ability to like do all propagate things. things and like make all the all anonymous uh, camera taking procedures and like point to which direction the electrostatic electricity oh, oh, is oh, the oh, most oh, oh, and like oh, oh. <laughs> and then like which kind of camera and then it takes three before pictures and after pictures and everything like you might I'm just saying. maybe I could You'll never know yeah I don't know yeah don't give up on yourself because I think it causes regret if you give up fail fail hard and learn fail like it's a better. motherfucker hmm. I think that's a, a good one I think it is. And I think, what's the predator here? The predator Ourselves? is yourself. Letting go of what it's you dream to yourself. be. Yourself. But what if, you bre- what if you dream to be a ballerina and you're a super successful accountant? Maybe like 150 a year. And you're like, I wanted to be a ballerina. And it's like, everyone will laugh at me because I'm a man and I just have thick legs and I can never be a ballerina. <laughs> Life is like, not linear. That's the fail, like the golden handcuffs of continuing a career. It's like you should handcuffs. stop. Ooh. You should stop midway and be like, it should be normal to restart and say, okay, I did this for ten years. Let's do something else. Be like, it should you're be mediocre. But it's not. Yeah, I mean, you have zero years experience. How are you going to get a job at a ballerina school? Because you have zero years experience and your resume is filled with accountant garbage. Oh, I managed several multi-million dollar firms. Like, oh, who cares? <laughs> this is ballerina school, pal. Okay? Be an accountant sure. for a ballerina school. Segway. Slide right into maybe, it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. A lot of child clearances they have to go off here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, it's that time. Predators. Yeah. No, he didn't hit it. Now did he hit it? Predators. No, he didn't. Predators. There you go.